are here at Ojai Belly Dance Festival, and I'm here with Alexandra Key, who is a very well-known belly dance teacher in the area here in Southern California. How long have you been teaching? Uh, since 81. 81. What got you into teaching? What motivated you to start? I hated teaching. I didn't okay. want to teach at all. Yeah. Um, but a friend of mine opened a dance studio and she wanted, you know, world dance. And I said, mm -hmm. she begged me for a year and I finally gave in because she overwhelmed me with her. <laughs> you know, you've got to teach this class. And I went, okay, okay, I'll try it. And I really hated it. Okay. And I sucked. But then, you know, I just kept doing it because people were flocking in it. That was during the time, when, a time when belly dancing was really popular. So yeah. I, I loved being in control of everything, which most mm -hmm. people have to have a sense of, you know, when they're teaching. So I, and then I learned to dance better because I taught, you know, I had to break it down. I had to learn how to yes. break it down. And, and I, and so I, that's what happened. You said being in control. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, in control of a classroom and of people and of things, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, you have to sort of have a, you can't be a laissez-faire passive person to be mm -hmm. a, as a teacher yeah. because you have students who come in and chew gum and talk all the time and you know and they and they don't know what they're doing and you have to guide them so all that is what I mean by control mm -hmm. you know you're managing the people you're teaching them how to move and you can't just stand there and go well I don't know what I what I do I just kind of lift my hip you know yeah. you have to control what you're doing and yeah. yourself and how you present and the class uh, format and the syllabus and all those things are managed by a teacher. There's a lot mm -hmm. to teaching. In fact, I just completed the second edit of my um, instructor's certification okay, program. Okay, great. So I'm now putting it to into a, um, a little marketing here. Please, please. <laughs> a little. Um, I'm putting it out as a teacher's skill yes. training. Now, now I want to teach other teachers what took me 30 years to learn. Yeah, absolutely. How to create a syllabus, how to create a class plan, how to break things down, how to criticize correctly. Mm -hmm. Uh, how, yeah. You also taught at the in, uh, university level? Yeah, I, I was a lecturer in, in dance for three years at UCSB, mm -hmm. and I worked in music for 20 years running a dance company there. Okay. That was really quite an experience. That is a whole different experience. It's more about managing people's personalities, mm -hmm. dancing, dance companies. Yes. How did teaching in the university change your teaching style? Well, I had to become an academic teacher. I had mm -hmm. to learn how to create a syllabus and a class plan and understand you know teaching in a broader sense in a bigger picture like what is the goal of the class mm -hmm. and then I also learned and I learned over the years that lots of people come into belly dance for different for lots of different reasons mm -hmm. some want to just exercise some want to socialize some want to learn to dance and be professional you know most women want to just put on a pretty costume and dance around and do shows mm -hmm. and so you have to create um, a class for all those people, mm -hmm. or at least in right. incorporate all those things into a class, and that's really tricky. So I teach that in the in the yes. certification program, how to create a class, mm -hmm. how to deal with different types of personalities and different needs from students. I had one student come in once, and she got really mad because we I gear my classes to perform because it's mm -hmm. a performing art, and she said, "Well, are we ever going to just look, just do pure technique?" And I said, "Well." I do pure technique, but I also allow other people, you know, I allow us, I gear us towards um, performing as well, learning choreographies, because women love that. That's how they learn. Mm -hmm. And she quit because of that. So that's what I mean by you have to be able to control your environment, your students, what you're doing, how you manage a class. What would you say the benefits of performing are as an artist, as a, as a dancer? I think you learn how to perform. And you also learn to dance. It's a backwards way of learning to dance. You know, in ballet, because I took that for almost 20 years, you know, studied point and everything. You don't dance unless you have talent, unless you have the right training, unless you're ready. Mm -hmm. Those are the criteria. Mm -hmm. So you don't learn to be a performer for a long time. And you also don't get the uh, integrated, sophisticated, polished skills you get when you get on a stage every night. So people learn all those things at once in, in ethnic dance because they, they do it sooner than a ballet dancer would. Yeah. You studied ballet for 20 years. Almost. What, uh, what, other, what was your main dance style that got you into, that you did before you started teaching? Ballet. Oh, I, was okay. on, I, was a, I was working towards professionalism, and I walked into a Greek club in the 70s and saw a ballet dancer and went, uh oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Toe shoes, <laughs> girdle and bra. Yeah, yeah. So who did you study with? 
who ballet was? Uh, no, ballet dancing. Um, my first teacher was Diana Ferrari, who was a member of Coast Kadas, and old timers will remember she was. Coast Kadas was a, a San Francisco based tribal group in the 70s. Mm -hmm. So she was, and that's a Jamila Salampur uh, style. And um, then my second teacher was Janani in Ojai here, and uh, I met her when Ansuya was just born. So Ansuya and I learned to belly dance together. Mm -hmm. So how long before you started to do belly dance before you started to teach it? Uh, six years. Okay. And that was really too soon. But uh, because there were there were just so few belly dancers back then, there was such a demand. It was just the whole thing was completely reversed. Uh -huh. Right. Anybody that danced, they just anybody that was a belly dancer was just like eaten up. Yeah. Right. A little different now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more people. It's completely flooded. Yeah. Excellent. I'm so feel so lucky that I was part of that evolution in, in belly dance and culturally and society wise and everything in which I we were the underground and there weren't very much of us and so yeah. a club would pay anything to have you you know yeah so I was very for a lot of us from the old days the 70s were really lucky we were the burgeoning stars of the 80s and 90s mm -hmm. and that fed into the tribal and the world we have now it kind mm -hmm. of it kept evolving and evolving to what it is now.